Hi, I'm Steve Spencer from SMB Capital. Today I'm going to talk to you about the concept of trading during volatile market periods. And as short-term traders, we adjust uh, many of the things that we do when market conditions change from low volatility to high volatility. So this, this very useful topic. Um, as traders, our number one job is to control risk. And so one of the shifts that we make during these volatile periods is we move into market ETFs, such as the SPIs, IWM, the Qs, um, VXX, which is uh, an ETF that tracks um, the VIX futures, which is measure of volatility, which generally moves inversely with the direction of uh, the market ETFs. And so by moving into these market-related ETFs, it's easier for us to control our risk. And one of the easiest ways to show why this is true is if we take a look at the VXX ETF, um, we can see what happened uh, over the last week or so when volatility spikes. The volume, the volume went way up. Um, you can see now the VXX is trading 50 million plus shares a day. Uh, you can see that the ranges intraday have expanded three or times or more. Um, obviously, as intraday ranges increase, there's more opportunity, short-term trading opportunity. And when we have this sort of uh, volume, that allows us to control our risk um, by being able to get in and out efficiently. And so that, 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 that picture kind of gives, gives an idea of why um, moving into the uh, ETFs makes sense. So a couple of the other ETFs, we have leveraged ETFs. TNA is a three times leveraged uh, IWM small cap. UVIXA, UVXY is a, uh, is a leveraged VXX. We, for the most part, we don't focus on those as much on our desk. Um, these, are, these are a really good vehicle if you're a retail trader and you're capital constrained on our desk. The traders really have access to as much capital as they need. And so they can stick with the, the, the single leveraged market ETFs and the VXX. And the reason why, Generally, I prefer traders to, to trade the non the non levered ETFs. Is again, these are easy. It's easier to control your risk on those. Um, from time to time, sure, levels will develop in these leveraged ETFs, and traders on the desk will trade them, and they can um, move to move, catch a quicker percentage move, and so they might trade them. But in terms of capturing a larger a larger percentage move, generally you'll see them gravitate towards the Qs or the VXX or the the SPY. Um, I want to walk you through a few charts give you examples of the two types of trades that are most prevalent when volatility spikes. The first one is a SPY 30 minute. So on the SPY 30 minute, what we can do is we can identify key levels to trade um, what, I, what I call move to move trades off of, off of key levels. And so if you look on the left side of the chart, um, on Monday, the day that the market rallied very strongly, there was a couple of key levels that we were, we were looking to see how the market trade off, traded off of them, and those are labeled points one and two. Um, the first one coincides with uh, resistance from 2015. The market failed many times around the 112 and a half area. You can see when we came in Monday morning, um, we quickly pushed through there um, back up to the second area I highlighted, which was 114. And then over the next few days, basically what, what we would do is we would use those areas to try to capture moves from the lower, the lower blue line to the upper blue line, 112 and a half to 114. We can see on day two, the market gapped lower, and when it got below that area, it went right back down to 0.4, which was support on day one. And we continued to trade off of those levels for the next few days. Eventually, the market strongly broke out from that area and for the most part, looks like it put in a bottom. But this, this sort of trading off of these levels is what I would call or what we would use as a five minute chart maybe to drill, kind of drill down on the levels and see a little bit better what they look like. And their, their, um, their intraday move to move trades where we're trying to capture something maybe over a 30 minute or an hour, hour period. That's one of the two types of trading uh, that we'll do when volatility picks up or one of the three types of trades as intra intraday traders that we do. Um, if we drill down into a lower time frame on the SPY, if we look at a two minute, this is high, high, uh, more momentum scalper type trading, which some of the traders will do on the desk and many futures traders will do as well. And I kind of highlighted a couple of areas here from this intraday where you can see um, inside of that 114, excuse me, 214 to 212 and a half, there were little scalp momentum trades. The first one was around from 11 to 12 o'clock. Uh, there was about a 40 cent range that developed and you can kind of clearly see it here on the two minute. And the way that we would trade that it's, it's a different type of trade than trading from 112.5 to 114, trying to capture that entire range. We call it 
very move to move, very momentum, very scalping. And once you kind of see um, on the tape, and this is tape re this is why tape reading skills are important uh, in higher volatile higher volatility markets, is once you kind of see those levels developing, trading in, trading out very quickly, just trading that range that developed, I think it was 113 to 11340. Later in the day, after we had failed at 114, the top of our bigger range that we had highlighted previously, there was a 30 cent range. And you can see this as you're reading the tape, you can see this actually an experienced trader hit me up in a private chat. He said, oh, I'm, I'm scalping this range right now in the E-minis. Uh, E-minis e are uh, capturing the same uh, movement as the spies are. So those are the two trades when markets are volatile that we're involved in. So when the market is calmer, there's a, there's a third type of trade, and it's an intraday swing trade, intraday position trade that we'll capture as well. A few years ago, um, I did a private uh, lecture, uh, about a 40 minute or so, 45 minute or so lecture, that's now part of our DNA mentoring program. I've never released it on the blog before. It's never been shared publicly. What we're gonna do now, um, for the first time ever, at least for the next week, is for anybody who puts in your email right now, we're going to share that, uh, send you the link for that video, and it's gonna very clearly explain to you as it, from an intraday trading perspective, what are the three specific types of trades uh, short-term traders make and kind of drill down and explain to you how to make those trades. So um, hopefully you'll enjoy that and we'll make that available at least for the next week or so for the first time ever. Um, and th those are the things I wanted to share with you today. I hope you learned something.